A federal bill that will require Google and Meta to pay media outlets for news content that they share or otherwise repurpose on their platforms has become law. And the tech giants, they're not happy about it. Kelly Botello, who's hosting Trending Now, joins us live with the details. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Matt. So the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, Meta, says if this is how it's going to be, then they just won't allow Canadian news to be shared on their platforms. It's being called an unfair move by the tech giant because it's a give and take relationship. News organizations benefit from sharing their stories on Facebook, yes, but Facebook benefits with the clicks and the likes and the engagement that they then sell. Ottawa has said the law creates a level playing field between online advertising giants and the shrinking news industry. This impacts Canadian news media, including us here at CHCH. Here's what our news director had to say about it. So Facebook believes that they're giving us free promotion. And yes, they are. And we like the traffic we get from Facebook, which is significant. However, we are giving Facebook a lot more than they are giving us. We are giving them engagement of their own users who are staying within the Facebook platform to comment in the hundreds, dozens, thousands sometimes on our news stories. And they take that attention from Canadians, from the news consumer, and they sell that to others. So it's a dramatically imbalanced relationship. That's all that'll be left on, uh, on Facebook is uh, memes and rumors. You know, the legitimate news will be pulled off. That doesn't mean C18 shouldn't have happened. C18 needs to happen because there needs to be a rebalancing of the relationship uh, between big tech and Canadian media. So Meta didn't say when it would make the changes to its platforms. The bill itself only comes into effect in six months. We'll have all the details coming up on Trending Now.